everyone, I am Andrew, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do know, I told you I'd put those pumpkins to good use. See, I have a fascination with pumpkins. Um, in this world, they are gods. Pumpkins are gods, and I collected five of them in the last episode, and I already had one on a shrine up there, that first one, but these three were added to uh, the shrine to make some more shrininess and give us some more blessings in this hostile Minecraft world that we live in. Speaking of hostile Minecraft world... Please excuse this. Oh. The now hostile Minecraft world that we live in. But two of our pumpkins gave their lives in sacrifice and gave us their godly powers to uh, plant some pumpkins. Last episode, we also found quite a large amount of reeds. So we planted those and made a reed farm. I have more reeds, but I haven't really used them yet. I made an episode before this, and I actually put down that farm in the episode. But I hated it. I thought it was... Uh, was really terrible, and that's kind of the only way I know how to describe it. It was, it was crap, and I wasn't happy with it. So I'm redoing this. In the last episode, we really didn't do anything. We went island hopping over that way, um, but nothing went down, and it sucked. And it was unfortunate that it had to suck like that, but it did. So I said screw it, and I scrapped it. Today we're going to be doing more fun things like going into caves. People, some people complain about Splunking videos. I think Splunking can be fun if you find yourself a good cave. So we're going to cross our fingers for a good cave. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> and now we have no choice but to Splunk. Okay. So I'm stuck in a dark cave. It is nighttime. And uh, this is asking to die. I foresee bad things for us. Okay. Let's see if I can hole up in here for the night. As any good adventurer, I carry a bed with me. At all times. Because I found very early on, I'm out at night a lot. And that means I need a bed. Okay. I also carry dirt with me. I was going to say, I also carry dirt. Uh, so that I can hole up in places like this and not be killed. Let's see if we can go to bed now. Good night, party people. Sleep success. Let's get rid of all this. Let's get going into this cave. Oh, that was the wrong tool to clear dirt. But that's okay. Take my bed back. Take this torch back because I don't really think we'll be needing it in here. And there's a ton of iron, which I want. Uh, but I maybe I'll just come back for that off camera because I don't really want to do too much mining. I want to do a lot of exploring. I'll put that iron to good use maybe on camera. We'll see. Oh, derp, 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 eight, eight key. That's where my sword is. Eight, 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 derp, 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 that was our first encounter with a creeper, <clears throat> and if I encounter further creepers, it might look like that. Um, yeah. Oh, skeletons, my second favorite mob in the game. We haven't really run into- CREEPER! Uh! Jesus. It missed the iron, though, so I'm good. That's what's important to me. This is like Iron City down here. We are good forever. I can make anything ever. Not anything ever, but at least some cool technology. Sandstone. Oh, we have found something good in here. I'm going to have to move the sandstone out of my way. I feel like we can definitely go deeper here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Throw down a torch in here, see what's going down. Ooh. There's nothing here. The real question becomes, oh, ah, 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 suffocating. Whew, okay. You know that rule about never digging down? Make sure you never dig up either. Damn it. Oh, uh, oh. Of course I flooded the cave with all the resources. This isn't happening. Okay.
This I don't deserve this. All right, now it's an adventure in plugging up a cave. I can do this though. I got this. I feel totally confident about this. Just gonna ride this to the top. Oh yeah, that that didn't work at all. I'll try to ride this to the top. Up through here. If I drown before I make it up there, then I have really, really bad water resistance, number one, but... Oh! Come on. Where the fuck are we? Okay, it's fine. I got this. I'm just going to plug up this hole. Go back down from whence we came. Ugh. Anything that gives me more ability to breathe underwater. So I'm already taking damage from this crap. Okay, that's a hole plugged up. Boom. The water isn't plugging. Huh. Oh yeah. That's how you save the world right there. That was also potentially my only way out of this cave. So, what is that noise? I keep hearing that noise in places, and it really scares me, and I'm not a fan. There's some iron down there. I'll collect the iron off camera. It's really not important enough to waste good screen time on. Quick tip for commentators out there. Uh, when I was making my first episode of this series, I, got, I grabbed a lot of iron, and um, I found that it made for a sucky episode. The reason I don't think people like spelunking videos is because people actually spelunk for hours on end. Don't spelunk for hours on end. Do what you gotta do. Come back for it. No one will mind. At least I don't think anyone will mind. So I just saved the entire universe from drowning. And yes, that cave did comprise of my universe at the moment. It's like that scene in 2012. I don't know if anyone saw 2012. 2012 was pretty crappy. Before what it was, it was entertaining. Um, we're like, John Cusack. His name John Cusack. John Cusack, that guy, he doesn't hop the time machine, like, dives down to the water and he's saving the entire world with his mad diving skills, it was like that, but cooler, because we're in Minecraft, and Minecraft is infinitely cooler than anything that 2012 has to offer. Also, we, we dealt with two creepers just now, which I totally forgot about, but maybe that's because I wanted to erase it from my memory. Moving on, there was some really cool stuff over here, this is the coolest part of the map in my opinion, for those of you who haven't been following this series, we have a swamp in our backyard, and it's fucking sweet. I really don't understand why the land is shaped like this. I feel like it's a chunk error, <laughs> but I like it. I want to climb these vines. Notch. Notch, future update? Actually, not Notch. Jeb. Future update, Jeb? Let me climb vines, because that would be cool. Like, let me, let me be a cool, clee, a cool tree-climbing guy. I was going to say a clee climbing guy. That that wouldn't make any much sense. Do you know what a clea is? I don't know what a clea is. If anyone knows what a clea is, if a clea is a word, someone go on dictionary.com and put it in the comments. I would really like to know what exactly a clea is. So over here I found some cool pumpkins, but see that just that structure just seems like we should be in it. Ow. It's a good thing I keep meat with me. Speaking of meat, I should eat. I left all my torches in that cave. That was a silly proposition. Wait, no, it wasn't. I'm going back to that cave. Never mind. That was not silly because I don't do silly things. Except for this. Oh! I have a really bad habit. Whenever I see water, I feel obliged to dive into it while yelling. It was really, really bad in the episode before this because I was being really obnoxious about it. And I was like, Rawr! dive! I think that's how it's going to be forever. Let's face it, diving in Minecraft is exhilarating. It's like you see... You see everything flash, and I don't know, it's cool. <laughs> Finding adventures. That's the whole point of this survival. It's not, I'm not a builder. I'm not a great creator. But I think that if you give me a little bit of time to find an adventure, damn it, will I find an adventure. Nothing there. I was going to jump down that chute and hope for a new adventure, and I'm 
Rocky World. That didn't exist. Ooh, what's here? I feel like I'm breaking every one of my bones every step I take. That can't be healthy. Nothing up here. That's that's a disappointment. I'm really that's a shame. Tree. I want to build a home there. I think I said before I want to build a home on top of that little platform. It's classy. I mean, who wouldn't want to live there? Look at this. I feel like Simba was raised there. Mm, that's got history. Simba's kind of a big deal. You, know, you guys know that Beauty and the Beast is out in theaters again? It reminds me of The Lion King. I think The Lion King is an arguably better movie than Beauty and the Beast. Maybe I'll go see Beauty and the Beast just to be six years old again. But I don't understand why everything's in 3D now. Beauty and the Beast wasn't made in 3D. No one cared about 3D when Beauty and the Beast came out. Why are they putting it in 3D? What about that will enhance my understanding? Is it because I can see the beast's furry, uh, furriness in 3D? Oh, I was here before. There's got to be something in here. This is like... No, oh, no, JK. There's cows. And a spider. Who will be dealt with promptly. Also, there's a creep. <laughs> Okay. Eight, eight, sword. I thought spiders were supposed to be nice to you in the daytime. Isn't that how this works? I guess no one got that memo. Nothing in there. That's kind of a disappointment because it's so cool. Ooh, waterfall. Multiple waterfalls. What the hell is that kind of block? Hold up. What is this? It doesn't break. Oh, it's just darkness. All good. Ignoring that. It's almost nighttime again. I gotta, I gotta find a cave to shack up, and I am not shacking up outside. We will die. Oh! Here or. Nope, not foreboding enough. I need to go somewhere foreboding and dark. Like right here. Alright. That's not good enough. I want my torches back. I hate caves sometimes because they're so upsetting. You really expect greatness out of them, and then they don't give you anything but heartbreak and pain. A bit like supermodels. Okay, now let's talk foreboding. This is this is like a trophy room. There's so many parts of this world that I want to repurpose and do cool things with. Maybe I will be a builder. And I might have to go back on what I just said. Too many cool things to build and not build. I'll leave that lit up. I have to get moving. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's an enderman right there. Not going to look. I don't see any purple hues, but... I'd rather not find out. The hard way. And by the hard way, I mean by an enderman hitting me in the face. So let's go to bed. Alright guys, I did not make it back to my house in time for the ending of this episode, which is kind of weird, but kind of good. It's like a it's like a new thing for us. We don't end up in the safe place at the start of the next episode. At the start of, at this, oh, at the, start of the next episode, we're going to keep adventuring. Who knows when we'll go back to the house? I don't, but I want to find out what else is around here, and we will find an epic cave. The search begins. I'll see you guys all next time. Don't forget to comment on this video because I need to know what you want to see. What you want to, I mean, not what you want to hear. I kind of decide what you hear. But what you want me to do, right now I'm kind of, I'm just looking for fun adventures and trying to make fun commentary over it. And you guys can help me be more goal driven. Um, also, please like this video. That helps me out a ton. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means a ton to me. And I think that you guys will get some pretty good stuff out of it. Aside from Minecraft, I also do vlogs and other assorted gaming videos. Um, also, 
I game with friends on Wednesdays. If you guys would like any suggestions for what you'd like me to play with friends, please leave those in the comments, PM, or tweet me on Twitter. And I also do Grab Bag Fridays, so if you have any suggestions for that, you know, I just lay it all the ways you can communicate with me. You guys are the greatest, and I will see you all very soon. After I go to sleep. Very soon.